Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been two months since I've uploaded a video and I'm going to explain why it's been so long, but I'm really happy that I'm able to come back. And I wanted to show you my week. This is my Franklin Covey um, home binder. And I wanted to show you how I used my inserts. I went ahead and wrote down schedules. On the right hand side, it's like a schedule where you can write basically anything that it's a weekly layout, uh, a weekly overview, kind of what you, what I would call it. So I wrote down some things and kind of wrote down my shows, uh, wrote down some things that would be beneficial for me to track and keep, keep, um, my to-do list up to date and everything. So I want to do a YouTube video. I need to make more inserts for my group in preparations for Thanksgiving dinner, I did make egg noodles. I froze those. I made herb butter that goes under the skin and inside of my turkey and on top of my turkey. I didn't prep the mashed potatoes. I don't know why that's checked off, so I'm going to have to uncheck that. I did prep my veggies and diced them up and put them in the fridge to make sauteing and everything so much easier and faster. I usually prep my casseroles the day before I do any of my cooking and I put everything into the oven and bake it, even my mashed potatoes that I've prepared the night before. I do make some really good, um, they're called mashed potato rolls. They're so good, they're so buttery, they're so flaky, they're so delicious. So I do make the dough for that the night before and let it self-rise in the fridge for the first rise. And, um, but this is my insert and let me just, tell you a little bit about what happened to our family and why I have been gone for two months um, from the presence kind of of most social media and especially YouTube. So if you get through this, I'm going to ask you to put up something in the comments so that I know that you've heard the rest of the story. There's nothing to flip through as I tell this story, so I'm just going to keep it on this page. Um, so the story that we went through and why I've been gone is because we were exposed to, we were in the process of moving and we were going through a lot dealing with trying to repair something so that we could move into it. We never did get that finished. So we had to do like plan B and switch up and find someplace new. Within the span of a week, everything hit and it was, it was so much that we were going through. So I was exposed to somebody who knew they were sick and had, um, had just been around me and the only thing that I can take away from this is when you're sick and you know you're sick please don't go around anybody especially if you don't if you don't know how their immune system reacts to anything there are people that have that look completely healthy but they have autoimmune diseases or they have immuno they have low immune system or they just have a compromised immune system from the medications that they could be taking. And yeah, I'm speaking, I'm speaking about myself. Um, somebody came around me and they said, Oh, you, you know, she's, she's young. She's healthy. She'll, she'll be fine. I got through it just fine, but you have no idea what it could do to somebody. So anyways, I woke up at like four in the morning gasping for air. I didn't even know I was exposed at this point. I woke up at 4am gasping for air couldn't get my breathing under control. My heart rate was through the roof and we knew something was wrong. So my husband took me to the hospital and they couldn't find out what the cause was. They did treat me. There was a lot of inflammation. They treated me and I was able to go home um, after the treatments and everything, which helped. But I was sick for five weeks and during that five weeks, I was trying to help my husband pack. We had to get the garage cleaned out so that way we could pack it up. Um, I, I needed to do so much work and yeah, I felt like time was running away from me and my whole family ended up getting sick and it wasn't just me that was having a hard time. Three, three of my family members inside of the home ended up having a hard time. Um, we, we ended up lightheaded, passing out due to the sickness, you know, just trying to stand up, passing out, I guess some of them you know, some of my family members, I just don't want to get into too many details, but that's what happened. And 
just to give you a backstory of what I've been through this year is to the day I tried doing this video. This is like the sixth attempt of this video. And this is three weeks later or two weeks later after I originally tried to come out with this video to the day I lost my friend. And it was a loss that I believe could have been avoided. Um, she was exposed. Somebody knew they were sick. They came around her. She was exposed um, to an illness. And I know that this is not, I'm not pointing fingers at anybody or anything, but um, I just know that I didn't, we didn't know. We didn't, we didn't know that her, her immune system couldn't take it. We had no idea. Nobody knew anything. I mean, I wasn't around her at the time. She was in a different state at the time that she got this illness. We were supposed to meet up, you know, it's just, anyways, I wasn't around her, but she was around somebody and she couldn't get through it. She couldn't get through the illness and she ended up passing away. She ended up getting to the hospital when it was too late. Um, she was put on a ventilator and her heart stopped shortly after she was put on the ventilator. They did CPR. They tried to resuscitate her and it was unsuccessful. She ended up passing away. And so that always stood out to me as it kind of changed me like to where I was so mindful of making sure that if I wasn't feeling good, that I was around nobody in my family and that I would always ask others to be mindful and do the same thing. If you're not feeling good, please don't go around people. Um, I know this is the holiday season and family wants to get together and everything, which is understandable. But if you don't feel good, know that it's okay to say I don't feel good. And I'll make plans to visit you at some other time when I'm feeling better. Because I don't want to get you sick. I think that would be the most, like... I don't know. It would just be the most respectful thing to do. Um, but also, so this year, that was, that was a year ago that that happened. And then, um, I did, I was doing videos. I think I started in the spring doing videos and I did mention in one of my videos that we had a loss in the family and I didn't go into detail on any of that, but it, it was my dad he passed away. He had brain cancer. He was, he was in hospice. It was an, it was an expected death, but it still sh was shocking. But, um, that was my dad and I was dealing with that this summer and I didn't really open up about that at all. And I'm not going to, but I did lose him. And now both of my parents are gone and my dad wanted nothing more than to be with my mom. My mom passed away from breast cancer 13 years ago and he never took off his wedding ring. And he said to me, he said, he called me sis. He said, sis, um, you know, I lost a part of me when she died. Part of me died that day. And I never got that part of me back. And, you know, cause you know, for the first two years after she died every day that he would come home from work, we would talk until he went to bed. And that was how we got over the grief of losing my mama and, um, his wife, his soulmate and, so anyways, he did pass away and, um, me and my brother are just thankful that they're finally together again and that nobody's suffering anymore. So I had, I dealt with that. Um, and then when I got sick and my family got sick this, you know, a month ago, it did take us five weeks to get over it. But through that five weeks, we were dealing with so much, um, just with moving and everything. And, our dog ended up displaying some of the symptoms that we had and we were at a complete loss as to how she was getting sick with these symptoms because we didn't feel like dogs and humans. I didn't, I guess I didn't understand how we could have passed this illness to our dog. I don't think we did. I think I don't, I have, I, st I just, I have no idea what happened to her. Um, she, she started off having some of the symptoms that I have when my autoimmune disease acts up. And I know that I cannot pass that. It's, it's not a virus. You can't just pass it to her. But she ended up getting sick on a Saturday and she went downhill so quickly. And there was absolutely everything we tried to do to help her. And I ended up taking her into the vet on 
Wednesday, the next Wednesday, because by that Tuesday, I knew something was seriously wrong. And then Tuesday night, nothing was open. And I contacted the vet. I made an appointment and the appointment wasn't until Friday. And I knew that by, by Tuesday, I knew that her appointment wasn't until Friday, but I tried everything that I could do to help get her through the night with the medicines and everything that we had and try to get her to eat. She couldn't, she tried, she would try. I think she tried to eat to kind of please us, but it ended up coming out. Um, she couldn't keep it down. And I took her in. I called Wednesday morning and said, my dog will not make it till Friday. If I can't get her in today, I am afraid she's going to pass away. Um, so Wednesday, I they said, okay, bring her in. So Wednesday at 1.30, I was able to get her in. And she was looked at by the vet. And unfortunately, there was nothing that they could do to save my dog's life. So our dog was 14. She had lived a long life and there was nothing that they could do. And I still, I, I just kept saying to the vet, I don't know why she's sick. I don't know why. I, I just don't know why she's not coming back around. And we ended up finding out why and what happened to her. But it had nothing to do with us being sick. Because um, I kept thinking, did I pass this to my dog? You know, did she end up sick because of me? But um, it wasn't that at all. Uh, let's see. So by that Wednesday, um, me and my daughter brought her in and we, we had to say goodbye because she was dying. And so we ended up, um, letting the vet put her down as we held her. We held, we, we both held onto her. We held her, we cuddled her, we cradled her. We, we said our goodbyes and we let her pass away in our arms and that was something that, you know, I was not expecting that. I honestly was expecting our dog to live for a couple more years, even though I knew she was 14. I mean, she had gone through so much. She had survived malignant melanoma. We had that removed. We had a like a paw removed from her a couple years prior. And I we didn't realize that the cancer had come back. And so I think that her getting sick exposed that she had cancer, but it was kind of too late to do anything. And unfortunately she did pass away and losing her is like losing a family member. So in the span of one year of 12 months, in the span of 12 months, I have lost my friend, my dad and my dog. And I just, I don't know. I just, I really needed to heal for myself and I needed to kind of get through the process of moving, the process of grieving, the process of moving forward and getting back on a routine. So after Thanksgiving is over and after my busy week with Thanksgiving and cooking and everything is completely over, I really do plan on getting back to making my inserts for my group. So thank you for being patient. I'm, I haven't even had the I haven't even had the the courage to explain why I haven't been able to I mean it's, I haven't even been able to really post anything. Um occasionally I'd go through a group and and comment or something but it's not really it's not really anything that I'd post. So hopefully moving forward I can get back to focus and get get goal oriented again and kind of get through her dog did die. She died on the 2nd of November. So it hasn't, it hasn't even been three weeks yet. Um, it will be three weeks tomorrow. So we're still grieving over that and just giving us time. And so if you made it through this video, please give me a green icon in the comments. Any icon you want, it just needs to be green. If you can do that for me, I know that you've watched this video through and you, that you were able to listen to my story. And I want to thank you for being a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you're a member of my group, thank you for joining. And I really hope that you guys have a really wonderful Thanksgiving. If you guys do celebrate it, I hope that you have a wonderful time with family, with friends, and that you have a blessed week. Thank you so much. Bye.